Hello, this is Mr. Tripod. I'm going to show you how to make a nice boulder. Okay, so first we're going to start with a cube. For this particular one, I want it to be a longer one, so I'm going to scale it on one axis by two and hit Control R to add in a loop so that when we sculpt this rock, it will have an even amount of polygons. So next we're going to go and use the multi-resolution modifier and sub divide it probably six or so times. And we're going to go into sculpt mode. Now first we're going to want to make sure the mirrors are turned off on all of the axes. And we can just use a flatten modifier, a flatten brush. And we can start making flat edges with nice sharp corners to give it a nice rocky look. And do that. Now, if you get some areas where the uh, crease is a little too much, like here, you can go in and zoom in or shrink your brush and just try to work it out a little. Not the easiest part, but and just try to sculpt these out. We don't want this to be too sharp. Now we have a basic looking rock. After you're done, you can go back into object mode and set to smooth instead of flat shading. If you want to put this into a game or something, you can try to remodel it or you could maybe just be lazy and use a decimate modifier, which shrinks the amount of polygons, which would be easier if I show it through the uh, wireframe. Not too much though. This of course has the problem that you'll end up with not as high detail, but it might look okay since rocks are rough anyway. Might want to go just a t tad bit higher. And this would be good for a game or other place where you want a lower resolution. However, it has a problem that you will have really messy topology. So after that, you can go ahead and unwrap it and paint some like edge damage and variation in color so a lot of games you might see like little white edges on the edges of the rock that was mr tripi and thanks for watching please like and subscribe if you found this video helpful